great to see. Great to see a strong start like that, showing that he's uh, got the quality to contend with anyone here. On three and a half pike by Vince, and uh, struggles to find the water. Yeah, just not missing a bit of confidence on the end. Even did for, for someone of his power to really go for that takeoff. I was thinking the same. Yeah. It looked like he was being cautious on the takeoff, and sometimes that's the case when you're uncertain of you know how you're going to sort of get out of the dive. Then there's a bit of uh, a hold back here on the takeoff. A little bit cautious, as you said. He should finish that way up in the air, and uh, and he sort of anticipates reaching for the water. It tends to be in a bit of a rush. He just keeps those arms down, open up all the way or almost all the way before he starts moving those arms to the water. So just staying tight, despite realizing he's not going to go as vertical as he had hoped. And uh, we're going to uh, close out the round with the front three and a half pike again. Not super high degree of difficulty by Juan Yu. Yep, baby face, Juan Yu. So both the Chinese doing front three and a half pikes. And it's going to be interesting to see how the judges treat this one. And not the same precision of entry. Still super clean, as you can tell. Nobody has to uh, really point that out. But not quite as vertical. He was just drifting by the uh, straight up and down position. The disadvantage to being so small is that you don't change your radius much when you come out of your pike. <laughs> you don't have as much stopping power. And uh, that's still rather vertical, just going over a little bit as we watch it in slow motion. Here. But look at, you know, that's a product of training, that beautiful pike, where he's just so compact there, and, uh, and, and, and all the movements for entry, just total reflex. No thinking involved here. Yeah, and letting it out, which is so, just staying tight despite realizing he's not going to go as vertical as he had hoped. And uh, we're going to uh, close out the round with the front three and a half pike. Again, not super high degree of difficulty by Juan Yu. Yep, baby face, Juan Yu. So both the Chinese doing front three and a half pikes. And it's going to be interesting to see how the judges treat this one. And not the same precision of entry. Still super clean, as you can tell. Nobody has to uh, really point that out. But it's not quite as vertical. He was just drifting by the... Uh, straight up and down position. The disadvantage to being so small is that you don't change your radius much when you come out of your pike. Yeah. You don't have as much stopping power. And uh, that's still rather vertical, just going over a little bit as we watch it in the slow motion. Here. And, but look at, you know, that's a product of training, that beautiful pike, where he's just so compact there. And, uh, and, and, and all the movements for entry, just total reflex. No thinking involved here. Yeah, and letting it out, which is sort of the natural go-to after doing a one and a half twist. If you want to be really difficult, you really got to set the rotation up properly. Yeah, and Megan Benfito has one of the best arm stand twisting takeoffs. Um, she introduced it in 2016 before the Olympics into our list, but boy, it's come a long way. Now, let's see what uh, Vinny can do in this handstand. Now, he's got a great handstand. He shows total control at the top there. Lovely takeoff. And Beautiful that dive. An outstanding finish. <laughs> <laughs> that is an outstanding start to finish. Beautiful position. Great verticalness of the takeoff. And, and distance. And then really similar to his back three and a half, except even cleaner and better. So this is uh, this is showing expert timing in the entry. Yeah, I mean, like if you're coaching that, you're gonna look at it and go, what's left? Just a little bit on the entry. Just, just that slight arch as he's going in, which we didn't really even notice when we were watching it in real time. But uh, 84 yeah. points, nothing to sneeze at. So you do one, looking for redemption on his back arm stand. And he's certainly capable of being redeemed. Uh, what you don't see in the less mature divers is you don't see the power component that comes with what we saw from Vinny on the uh, takeoff. Vinny and Maddie just jumping yeah. up to the rafters, so to speak. And, and, and that could yeah. be sort of the criticism or the thing that prevents the judges from coming up with tens. But sometimes. But look at up. this line. Like, beautiful, beautiful line. We may just. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'll scratch all that. And when you talked about redemption, uh, 
Uh, he couldn't have done more for that. And, and this, the verticalness that he stops this guy with is just very impressive. And, and uh, point right there. Yeah, and we just saw him draw first blood when it comes to Tim's. Uh, because, as we heard uh, in the background from the announcer, there's at least a couple of them coming from the judges. And look at that technique on kick out, eh? Perfectly disciplined. And perfectly right on his legs first, and then going back to the floor. Beautiful. That was, that, that was amazing. That is what we came for. To see Check it out. Like Three tens on that, and all the others should have been. 95 points. I was, when I saw that, I and on the back handstand, maybe he, he can't show his jump, his sort of power, but on the handstand, they're getting the speed of rotation, completing the dive, but you know, as we said, the front entries are a bit of an enigma for him. It's sort of one of those rare things where for most of the divers, this is the more natural entry. And uh, that's, a, that's a solid job. Yeah, yeah. Very good dive. No disappointment there. And a beautiful come out, kicking straight up at the ceiling with his toes, which is uh, the pike out. So as you said, transitioning from tuck into pike. So he goes one, two, and right there, kicks those feet up. And that gives him a lot of time to uh, set up for the entry. Beautiful position on the takeoff. And you see that stand up, head position just perfect and arms thrown straight back to the tower to initiate the rotation. Yeah, just, I mean, the only thing, I mean, we're gonna complain about the thing that's missing, and that is the precision and disappearance on the entry, even missing a bit of sound on the entry. So it's the actual angle that his hands are touching the surface of the water wasn't as optimal as it could be to get that satisfying rip sound. And uh, spinning super fast, which gives you a tendency to try to rush things. He didn't rush at all. And when I say casual, he just jumped straight up like he had all the time in the world, which then gives you the ability to go vertical and get into your nice tuck position. The things that are so necessary and so hard to do. He made that look easy, and that's the hardest dive in the sea. And this one might look easy too. Back three and a half. Vertical jump. And uh, a good dive, Beautiful. holding a feet yeah. short. But this is one of the dives that accentuates the difference in terms of maturity uh, when we're talking about power on the takeoff. You have to sort of overcome gravity when you are a fully matured uh, adult. It's quite different than what you see with little grasshopper here. Well, yeah, you put a Vince up there and uh, he's barely coming up to Vince's waist as he jumps, as Vince jumps two meters up. That said, the technique was outstanding. Relatively, he jumped up to his own shoulders and got up there and showed a beautiful tuck. And you know, this is a great dive. He didn't, by anyone else's standards, that was a great entry. Yeah, but we were disappointed with his entry because we saw him do something even more spectacular earlier. And we know what he's capable of doing because we watch him in practice. And now, there's nothing to correct technically. Right? Like, he, all he has to do is wait for maturation. On the, on the leader dives. And that's easy to say in a theoretical point of view. Mm, let's see so that's, that's the trick of the sport, is you still have to maintain, yeah. to keep that quality high, you still have to maintain enough repetitions of the other dives. So let's see here's what, Vince's chance to show us. Uh, he's going to show us a great jump, we know that. Let's see what he has to serve up here. First three and a half. Wow, wow. and that was, a, that was a little weird though for me because did you see him fall forward at the takeoff? I thought he just let go a little bit with his control, pushed it out a little. That Correct. Wasn't, yeah, and it wasn't, wasn't like his back was going to have a takeoff. But, yeah, uh, and it scared me because he got forward, way more forward than you, you normally see him. But that can also give you a little bit of extra control when you're spinning that direction. It's going to prevent you from going over. Correct. Much. And I was uh, pretty nervous when you see that kind of variation on takeoff. I know it's a subtle thing, but we get to see them do these dives time and time again. And... Uh, you know, he pulls up uh, seven and a half eights, so but I thought still it's still by far the best first. He's transferring a little bit of that rotation, so he left his head sort of inert, so no transference to his head of the rotation, so he wasn't able to stop it as much as he could have. Duan, let's Good. see his reverse. He's got a chance to beat Vince's. Similar. Yeah, very similar. Bit short, a little bit 
slow, uh, super clean. Yeah, not uh, not the impressive jump, and uh, that's come to be expected when you're talking about a little fellow like that. Um, but still, a relatively good jump. He's still jumping his own height. And, uh, yeah, yeah, but without the same just... power required for that, right? Right, because he's only 50 pounds. Correct. Not thrilled with uh, the outcome on that dive. That scored a little bit higher than Vince did. Pretty yeah. clean looking dive. Very clean. Nice talk. Nice looking dive. After five rounds, we've got one round to go. We have two on now, moving up to first. Last of first as he's come through. Vincent holding nice and steady. Second. These guys are way up there. Six points separating them. And that's a product of uh, two big misses, really. Yeah. Started started out just right. His work was outstanding. And back twist for Vincent. Oh. So both our boys, great, great in the air, and then just a little bit off on their entries. Yeah, it's such a challenge uh, for Vince. I mean, like I said, like this is really a walk in the park dive for him. Uh, he pulls off sevens. He has a little bit deeper pike in the end, so showing uh, a little bit more position as he comes out of the twist of his pike. So what happens here? Is his hands letting go a little too early. He looks like he's quite ready for the water. Yeah. Uh, congratulations from Calgary and Kaylee. Or this is showing that this is a big dive. Yeah, and uh, that came from you saw the rushing on the takeoff. Exactly. As he said, he just took his time on that front. Here's, um, here's Duan, the only one that can displace Vincent from currently s sitting in first. And only really needing six and a half to do it. So, so yeah, Duan was enough ahead. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no question there. <laughs> Not leaving, yeah. not, not going to let it be close, not leaving any doubt in anyone's mind. Finishing. No. That. And that's what, uh, that's what people came to see, you know. They, you come to see that kind of uh, sort of magical finish to a dive. And the contest. That was the last dive of this event. And that's the way you like to finish. As you said, leaving no doubt. 469 points over Vincent Riendo's 442, but still nothing to sneeze at. 442 mid 400s, very strong scores. Yeah, all, all the top three over 400. Uh, we've seen, you know, just to put that in perspective, with some of the grades that we have seen, we have seen an over 500 event. Uh, going over 500 is a medal in any world, any kind of event. Like that, upper 400s, uh, you're going to be finaling everywhere and uh, great submits on, uh, you know, without even doing his best entries, he's still right up there in the mid ones. Yeah, and that's that's great to see. So, you know, we know what uh, kind of homework is required. Uh, hopefully they can sort of solve that front entry inconsistency, uh, but it finishes off with China, Canada, and then uh, Great Britain. And, which is a surprise. We expected uh, both uh, divers in China to be in the top three, and it shows you that uh, the most predictable thing about diving is its unpredictability. Well said. And with that being said, uh, that was an exciting event, and it was uh, great to join uh, anybody out there tuning into the online broadcast, uh, FINA TV.